Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be reviewing my Volcanion EX and Turtonator GX deck. Now this is another competitive TCG deck review that I'm doing for the 2018 standard format. In the description of this video, you'll find two links. The first would be a link to a playlist I've created for these deck review videos. And then the second would be a link to a playlist I'm currently working on where I provide tips and strategies for building your very own deck. Now I'm going to break down this video into three different segments. First, I'll be giving a general strategy with this deck. Second, I'll be sharing the deck checklist. And then third, and a majority of this video, I'll be going through each and every one of the cards in this deck, stating why the card is in the deck, as well as how I use that card. So as far as strategy goes with this deck, this is a majority fire type deck. I only use one basic energy type in this deck. I use 14 basic fire energy. And then a majority of the Pokemon in this deck are fire type. Two primary attackers in this deck in Ho-Oh GX and Turtonator GX. You do have an advantage there because Ho-Oh is weak to lightning type Pokemon. So if you are facing a water type deck, you can always attack with Ho-Oh. But ideally, you want to either get Ho-Oh or Turtonator in the active Pokemon spot to start the game, then use Kiawe to attach four fire energy from your deck to one of those two Pokemon. That way, during your second turn, you can do at least 160 or 180 damage, potentially more if you attach something like a Fighting Fury Belt to one of those two Pokemon, increasing their HP to 230 and increasing their damage when attacking by 10 and then you can always put Volcanion EX on your bench and use its steam up ability. All you have to do is discard one fire energy card from your hand and it increases your active Pokemon's attacks by 30. If you have multiple Volcanion EX on your bench you can then knock out things like Gardevoir GX or Zoroark GX in one turn. So those are the two primary attackers and the ways to increase the damage when attacking. There are also lots of different ways to get energy from both your discard pile and your deck into your hand and onto your Pokemon. Turtonator GX has a very good GX move on it. The Volcanion from Steam Siege allows you to attach fire energy from your discard pile to your bench Pokemon. You can use Starmie's ability to get fire energy cards into your hand to use Steam Up. And then you can use something like Max Elixir to move energy from your deck to your bench Pokemon. So although a lot of the fire type Pokemon in this deck are slow to set up, requiring a lot of energy, the way this deck is set up is actually quick attacking and very powerful. Now the one disadvantage I would say with this deck is that both Ho-Oh GX and then Turtonator GX both have restrictions to attacking. Turtonator GX can do 160 damage, but you must discard two fire energy after attacking, and then Ho-Oh GX can do 180 damage, but you can't use that move two turns in a row. So you're going to have to use Guzma and a Float Stone to get that Pokemon back into the active Pokemon spot if you're using Ho-Oh, and then you're going to have to either have more than three energy on Turtonator to continue using its move more than one turn in a row, or retreat it and put something else into the active Pokemon spot. But now I can show the deck checklist on the screen. As you can see, lots of fire energy in this deck. And then something you'll notice is that I do use four Professor Sycamore as well as four Guzma. Professor Sycamore is a good way to discard your fire energy. And then Guzma, of course, like I was talking about with Turtonator and Ho-Oh, it is a good way to reset some of the attacks with those two Pokemon. I only use 3N in this deck, mainly because I want to have energy in my discard pile. I really don't need those energy cards to go back into my deck. And now I can show all those cards in detail. And as always, if you have suggestions for this specific deck on how I should improve it, or if you have deck suggestions for me, please let me know in the comment section of this video. I'm very excited to get started reviewing and including Ultra Prism cards in my future deck review videos. Now I'll take a look at each individual card. First up, I'll take a look at the Pokemon. 14 total Pokemon in this deck. The first Pokemon would be Turtonator GX. I used three copies of this card. It's from the Guardians Rising set and it is one of the main attackers 
in this stack. 190 HP on the card, so it is quite the tank and very hard to take down, especially if you attach a Fighting Fury Belt to this card. It is weak to water type Pokemon and it does have a fairly high retreat cost, but it does have three moves on it. First up would be Shell Trap. For two colorless energy, this move does 20 damage. Plus, during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if this Pokemon is knocked out, put eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So this move really does additional damage when attacking. You can always increase the amount of damage it does by using Volcanion EX's ability on the bench. And then it can also prevent your opponent from wanting to attack Turtonator GX just because it may end up knocking itself out. The main move that you're going to use on Turtonator GX would be Bright Flame. For three energy cards, it does 160 damage. However, you must discard two fire energy from this Pokemon. Of course, you can use something like Kiawe or the GX attack on this card to get more than three energy cards on this card. That way, it will allow you to use Bright Flame more than one turn in a row. And then Nitro Tank GX is a very good GX attack. For one fire energy, it says, attach five fire energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So that is very useful. You can have several Turtonator GX in play and attach three energy cards to one, two energy cards to the other. It also makes it more useful to use Professor Sycamore to discard fire energy from your hand. But this is the primary attacker in this deck. Not really a primary attacker, but the reason I've made this deck is because of Volcanion EX. I used three copies of this card. It is from the Steam Siege set. It is an EX card, a dual type Pokemon. It has 180 HP. The main reason I use this card is for its ability, Steam Up. It says, once during your turn, you may discard a Fire Energy card from your hand. If you do, during this turn, your basic Fire Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So you can have more than one Volcanion EX set up on your bench, and then you can increase a move like Bright Flame on Turtonator GX to do 220 damage per turn, knocking out something like Zoroark GX in one move. And then Volcanic Heat, it does do 130 damage for three energy cards, which isn't bad. However, this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. That is the main reason that I have a lot of Floatstone and Guzma in this deck. That way you can reset the ability like Volcanic Heat so you can attack every single turn. The other primary attacker in this deck would be Ho-Oh GX. I used two copies of this card. This card is a Black Star promo. It's also in the Burning Shadow set. Another card that has a very high HP of 190, make it 230 with a Fighting Fury Belt. Three moves on this card, I really only use one of the three. But something to note here, it does have a weakness to Lightning type Pokemon. So that is an advantage to you if you are facing a Water type deck. Its first move is called Sacred Fire. For three energy cards, it says this attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. I don't really use this move ever. I always try and set up Ho-Oh GX on the bench or use Kiawe to get four energy cards on this card right away. But I guess if you are spreading damage around or if your opponent has retreated their active Pokemon that has damage on it, you can always attack a bench Pokemon. 50 damage for three energy cards certainly isn't much. The main attack on this card is Phoenix Burn. For four energy cards, it does 180 damage. However, you cannot use this move twice in a row. So again, you want to have a Floatstone Trainer on one of your bench Pokemon. Use Guzma to move this card to your bench and then move that card that has a float stone on it into the active Pokemon spot and retreat that active Pokemon, putting Ho-Oh GX back into the active Pokemon spot and resetting Phoenix Burn, allowing you to use it two turns in a row. And then the GX move on this card is called Eternal Flame GX. For three energy cards, it says, put three in any combination of Fire Pokemon GX or Fire Pokemon EX from your discard pile onto your bench. I really do not use this GX move at all. Like I said, the main GX move I use is Nitro Tank GX on Turtonator. Now in this deck, I've decided to use only one of this Volcanion from the Steam Siege set. You can try and get this card into the active Pokemon spot to start the game if you can't use Kiawe right away. 
and then you can use one of two moves, Power Heater or Steam Artillery. This card does have a solid HP for a basic Pokemon, 130. Again, you attach a Fighting Fury Belt, it moves it up to 170, which is quite the high HP for a non-EX or GX card. Power Heater for one Fire Energy card does 20 damage, and it allows you to choose two of your bench Pokemon, attach a Fire Energy card from your discard pile to each of those Pokemon. So you're going to want to use something like Professor Sycamore to discard those energy, or if you have Volcanion EX on your bench, you can then increase the amount of damage Power Heater does, moving energy to your discard pile, and then you can just attach those to your bench Pokemon right away. Steam Artillery, which I don't use that much, does do 100 damage for three Fire Energy cards, which is a good amount of damage. But again, this isn't a GX or EX card, which could be useful because it only allows one prize card when knocked out, but I really do not use Steam Artillery either. I use three copies of Tapu Lele GX in this deck, and this is from the Guardians Rising set. The main reason to use this card is for its ability, Wonder Tag. It says, when you play this Pokemon from your hand on your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for a supporter card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. So I use Ultra Ball, I use this card, in tandem sometimes to get to Kiawe to start the game. That way I can get four energy cards into play the first turn of the game. I really don't use this card as an attacker in this deck just because I do not have any double colorless energy, but energy drive is useful. It does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. So sometimes this move does discourage your opponent from attaching energy to their active Pokemon. And then the last line of Pokemon that I use in this deck would be a 1-1 line of Staryu and Starmie. Now the reason that I use this Staryu from the Breakpoint set, even though it does have a very low HP, is that I guess if you are forced to put this card into the active Pokemon spot, you can retreat it for free. And if you Guzma something out of your active Pokemon spot, you can put Staryu into the active Pokemon spot and then retreat it without a Float Stone. You also can use this card when you're using Brooklet Hill, the stadium card, I try and use that for Volcanion and Staryu. And then Starmie, this is from the Evolution set, has a very good ability. Its ability is called Space Beacon. It says once during your turn, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. So this way you can always guarantee that you can use Steam Up on Volcanion EX. Next up, I'll take a look at the trainer cards in this deck. I have 32 total trainer cards. I use 14 supporters. First up would be Guzma. I use four copies of this trainer. This is from the Burning Shadow set. It says, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. If you do, switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So like I mentioned, there are a lot of Pokemon in this deck that can't attack two turns in a row. So I can use Guzma to get those Pokemon out of the active Pokemon spot. And then if I have Float Stone or if I have Staryu on the bench, I can then put those cards into the active Pokemon spot and retreat those Pokemon right away. So then sometimes I can rotate something like a Tapu Lele GX into the defending Pokemon spot and knock out that Pokemon in one turn taking two prize cards. But the main reason for Guzma is to reset the move on Ho-Oh GX so I can do 180 damage per turn and it avoids a lot of the heavy retreat costs in this deck. I also use four copies of Professor Sycamore and I only use three copies of Supporter N. Professor Sycamore is from the Breakpoint set. It says discard your hand and draw seven cards. Now I know with Ultra Prism, Cynthia is a very good card to use as well but I actually do want some cards discarded in this deck to get fire energy into the discard pile. So that is the main reason for four copies of Professor Sycamore. That way, Starmie and Turtonator and Volcanion can all retrieve fire energy from the discard pile. I only use three copies of Supporter N. This is from the Fates Collide set. It says the following. Each player shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck. Then each player draws a card for each of his or her remaining prize cards. So early in the game, if you know that your opponent has cards they want in their hand, you can use this. And it's always important to get as many cards into your hand as possible. And then later in games, if you are behind, you can use this card and then it will get fewer cards into your opponent's hand. 
And then the final supporter in this deck would be Kiawe. This is from the Burning Shadow set. I used two copies of this card. It says the following. Search your deck for up to four fire energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. Your turn ends. So it allows you to attach fire energy very quickly, but it does end your turn. So if you ever win the coin flip at the beginning of a battle, always choose to go first. That way you can't attack anyways, so ending your turn really doesn't do anything for you, and it gives Kiawe a huge advantage. But this is the main way of getting both Ho-Oh and Turtonator set up very quickly. I use 19 item, tool, and stadium cards in this deck, starting off with Ultra Ball. I use four copies of. This is from the Shining Legend set. It says the following. Discard two cards from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Now, if I don't have something like Brooklet Hill out there, I can use this to get to Volcanion EX. I can use it to get to Starmie, to evolve Staryu into Starmie. And then I can always use this to get to Tapu Lele, so I can use its ability. I have four copies of Fighting Fury Belt in this deck. This is from the Breakpoint set. It says, the basic Pokemon this card is attached to gets 40 more HP and its attacks do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Now I do not use any Choice Band Trainers in this deck. I use the Steam Up ability on Volcanion EX to achieve this same thing. And then I use Fighting Fury Belt to increase the HP of both Turtonator and Ho-Oh to 230. And then I use it on the Volcanion, the non-EX, to get that to 170 HP. I used three Floatstone in this deck. I believe the newest set to include Floatstone would be Breakthrough. It says the Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost. So like I mentioned, a lot of high retreat cost Pokemon in this deck. The retreat cost is relieved if you have a Floatstone attached to it. And then I can use this in tandem with Guzma to get the Pokemon I just had in the active Pokemon spot back into that spot the same turn. I have three copies of Max Elixir in this deck. This is from the Breakpoint set. It says the following. Look at the top six cards of your deck and attach a basic energy card you find there to a basic Pokemon on your bench. Now this card is very useful in this deck because I do use so many energy cards. This card actually hits a lot more than it misses. And it's a quick way to attach energy to something like a Turtonator or a Ho-Oh. I use two Field Blowers in this deck. This is from the Guardians Rising set. It says, choose up to two in any combination of Pokemon tool cards and stadium cards in play and discard them. Now, if you're facing something like a Garbodor deck that uses its ability where it shuts down all abilities, if a tool is attached to Garbodor, you can remove that tool card using Field Blower. So very important in a deck like this where you're using both Tapu Lele and Volcanion EX, the abilities on both of those cards. I used two copies of Brooklet Hill. This is a stadium card from the Guardians Rising set in this deck. It says, once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a basic water Pokemon or basic fighting Pokemon, put it onto their bench, and shuffle their deck. Now I use this mainly to get Volcanion EX on my bench and then Star You. And this is also useful to clear out an opponent's stadium card. So that's why I include two Brooklet Hill. I use Brooklet Hill in combination with Field Blower to clear out an opponent's stadium card. If you're facing something like a Town or any other popular stadium card out there like a Parallel City, it can essentially clear the playing field if you put a Brooklet Hill Stadium out there. And then the final trainer card in this deck would be Rescue Stretcher. This is from the Guardians Rising set. I use one copy of this card. You can do one of the following. Either put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand or shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. So if you do have Starmie, in your hand early or if you have a Tapu Lele you can use Professor Sycamore to discard those cards and then just get them immediately back into your hand if you use the first option on this card. So that's it for the trainer cards and then I use 14 total fire energy in this deck. This is a little bit more of energy in this deck compared to some of the other decks that I've built but like I mentioned a lot of Pokemon in this deck require three or four energy cards to attack Kiawe allows you to get four energy cards onto a Pokemon, so the energy cards go quite quickly. Plus, you can discard several energy in this deck and then retrieve those from your discard pile. So there you have it. 
Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, and then the links I talked about earlier to the two playlists that you'll find useful for competitive TCG deck building and other deck reviews. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.